Welcome back to Thionite Plays and rocks out to this awesome music. Just li I'm gonna shut up for a minute so you guys can listen to this track. It is great. Man, I have no idea what that song is, but I am all about it. That is a, that is a good song. It is Linus's birthday. We need to give him a coconut. Because I know he loves coconuts, and we have like 60 of the darn things. So we are going to give him wonderful coconuts. Oh, man, the mail. Din, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious. Is someone searching your pockets? Martin, he... It was a stakeout after all. That's what he was about. He was just like, oh, that farmer is rich. I just have to wait until he passes out in front of the movie theater trying to give me juice so I can rifle through his pockets. He stole $500 from me. Oh, oh, oh that boy. Oh, that boy better be careful that I don't poison his juice going forward. Oh, that boy. That boy. That boy. I am upset. Royally upset. We need to go find Linus. Do we need to do uh, chores around the house? Right, we need to, I actually, actually, I need to make a bunch of stuff. I have a feeling oodles of things need to be made. Where are my appliances? I want to make, I have five of those. So I need to make, I need five copper bars, five earth crystals, and, okay, so I need 11 copper bars. Okay, 11 copper bars and five earth crystals. Copper bars, I need... 11 of these and as evidenced by the fact that I have the lucky ring and that iridium band from my inventory I am going to be going to ginger island and fusing those because I would rather have the iridium band plus lucky ring so I need to make Five more mayo machines and then I need to make six cheese presses and Then how many preserve jars can I make? I have no coal I need to make more preserve jars. How much coal do I have access to? I have access to 881. I have a lot of coal, and I haven't bought any of that. That's nice. What about the bone mills? Ooh. I can only make 10 preserve jars. If that's the case, I'm only mm, I'm only going to make I'm only going to make 3 of those for the the greenhouse, and then I'll make 5 bone mills. I have a feeling that those are going to be helpful. So let me put the coal away. Then we can put all of this stuff into their proper places. Hello, Nehru. Good morning, Nehru. So let's put let's put these wonderful preserve jars into the next the, the next bit of the greenhouse. The last one over here. So lovely, lovely, lovely. That will be wonderful to for tomorrow the reason i built the bone mills i'll be able to show this off in this wonderful episode uh but essentially the utility of the bone mills is if you put bones inside of them you can essentially turn them into fertilizer machines so i'm just gonna put them uh temporarily right down in there Actually, actually, we're going to Ginger Island. I'm going to take them to Ginger Island instead. They're going to be more useful to us at Ginger Island compared to in here. So I'm going to make that a reality. Nehru, I need you to ferry me onward to our wonderful barn animals. Uh, when is Robin going to be done with the, the barn, I wonder? I really hope trees grow in winter. If they can grow in winter, oh, everything will be so much better. So let's drop... All of the cheese, no, not the cheese presses, the uh, egg machines, mayonnaise machines. Just uh, put it, no, I don't want to, I don't want to comfort void. I mean, like, I don't want to comfort void. I, I love void, but like, I need to put the machinery down. And then hopefully this will be a much more efficient way of turning all of my eggs into mayo. I just need to remember to come back to these barns and the coops more than a single time. Because I have you know, stuff to actually put into them. Are the things in here ready? The things in here are ready. 
How wonderful. That is very good indeed. Wow, they're bouncing at different levels. Very strange. But ultimately, unimportant. Let's put... Let's get all of this. Do we need to turn anything... Actually, because I want to keep them on the same cycle, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to, to, to uh, put anything inside of those. So these can go in here for the moment. Oh, I forgot to put the mayo away. Definitely want to do that. Right, okay. So let's let's do this. Uh, no, not the horse. Put the mayo away. Better. And then we'll put the cheese presses down. Say hello to everyone. Ooh, money. How are we going to make some money? Oh, and I, I need to put more stuff into... Let's actually close the barn doors. I actually need to put more crops into the shed. I only did that for the greenhouse. Although I think I'm stuck on stuff that we already have access to. I think what's ultimately going to happen is just I'm going to put more uh, fern seeds in there. So I'm going to put these... I'm actually going to put the cheese presses along this wall. I feel like this will be more out of the way than anything else. Yeah, that's that's not a terrible place. Excuse me, Lilo. I need to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to ten. Yeah, that's all of it. That should be that should be ten bits of milk. So we'll make some wonderful bits of goat cheese as well as normal cheese, and then that will be wonderful. So now that that's out of the way, let's go give Linus his coconut, and then we can go to Ginger Island to forge the rings because I do not want to have a dangerous exploding ring on me if I have to defend the farm and I just forget to take it off. I haven't had any accidents thus far, but I do not want to take any chances. I really do not want to take any chances. Linus, you remembered your birthday? I have indeed. How is everyone doing for all of this stuff? Robin, Linus, Clint, Sophia, George, Jody. They're all full. Gus is really close. Uh, Hemily and Haley are max because, uh, well, I'm not dating them, so I can't get them any higher. Demetrius, Lewis, Marlin. Krobus is really high up there as well. Interesting. Where is Lands? Okay, let me go. Uh, if I had foresight, if I had a tiny bit of forethought, I would have gotten one of those eggs. Let me go get, let me go get those eggs as well. Right, okay, so here's the here's the plan. I'm going to go get an egg, I'm going to go gift it to Lance, and then I'll meet you guys up at Ginger Island for all of the stuff with the bone mills, as well as the forging of the Ring of Power. Lance, Merry Crimbus. What a remarkable gift, thank you, you're very welcome. Marlin contracted me for some jobs suitable only to a combat mage such as myself. I'm not at all, uh, well, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details. Can you discuss them with me? Has that increased our friendship? Please tell me it's increased our friendship. Oh, it's up to one heart. Okay, well, we need to get up to two hearts. Once we get that that wonderful thing up to two hearts, well, then progress can actually be made. So, now now we can go onward, onwards to Ginger Island. Gingerific Island. Leo, mango present. I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. I love your parrot costume, Leo. It's adorable. It's so... Uh, please dig up the proper thing. It's absolutely incredible, and I love it. Leo, thank you so much for being my friend. Uh, are any of our crops done? It does not look like that's a case. Unfortunate, but that's expected at this point. Okay, now let's put down... Let's put down our bone makers. I'm probably just going to, for lack of better and more suitable designs, I'm just going to put them there. And now I can finally start to get rid of all of these nonsense fossils that I have. So I'm going to put all of these fossils straight into these bone makers. And I'm finally going to get some cinder shards. Do we go? I think we might have to actually take a trip into the volcano dungeon. Because I don't have enough cinder shards to fuse the ring. All right, that's fine, that's fine. But essentially, what the bone mills do, and I can show this off completely once we're done with this trip into the volcano. Yeah, volcano. Uh, is essentially, if you put in bones, either bone fragments or bone-based fossils... Oh, cutscene. You get fertilizers. I'll talk more about the types of fertilizers later. But for right now, Leo has a cutscene. Leo, what's up? Sorry. Oh, from the little surprise. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be sorry. Don't apologize. I scare everyone. I have a very scary face. It's the hat, after all. 
Although we're both cosplaying animals right now, so birds of a feather. Because you're a bird. Oh, the analogy works doubly so for you, Leo. Sorry, I lose myself to tangents sometimes. It's hard to remember to talk normally. Yeah, well, that, that's perfectly fine. I will learn Parrot for you. How, how, how is everything going? You think I'm weird, don't you? I Not necessarily. Not really. I mean, compared to some people I know, you're positively normal, Clint. Not at all. A little, but I'm used to... I am. I am used to it. But, uh, no, not really. Well... I mean, I person, he's, you're a little bit weird, but that's, you know, anyone who isn't a little bit weird has something wrong with them. Thanks. I've gotten used to you, too. Aw. Aw, Leo. Leo. Aw, you're my friend. You're my island friend, Leo. Anytime you want to stop by the farm. I mean, I literally have a magic warp totem on the farm. If you want, if you want to stop by the valley, make some friends, practice your language skills. It's like I say to everyone, the farm is open to all. I'm pretty sure Claire is the only one who takes me up on that occasionally. Sometimes I wonder how different my life would be if I had never washed up on this island. The big questions in life. The volcano doesn't have a top. Where did the top of the volcano go? Back home, I didn't really care about birds. I never thought to listen to what they might be saying. Well, most birds probably can't talk as well as the parrots can. Though I guess that's normal for normal kids. Like I said, if everyone was normal, then no one would be special. Hmm, not the best of my analogies. I wonder what normal kids would have to say about me. Normal kids would probably be like, oh, a new friend, and he dresses like a bird. I'm going to dress like a bird now. Mommy, mommy, can we dress like birds? Leo dresses like a bird. Now I, that they would they would take to you like a duck to water. Fish, fish, fish to waterfalls. Salmons. I have some salmon. I, 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 I don't know where I'm going with it. Like I said, the tangents of the mind. Do you think I could ever be a normal kid again? I mean, yeah, but why would you want to? I mean, you could, but like, again, why would you want to? Hmm, I guess you're right. I probably should have said maybe. The living on this island has given me a lot of experiences normal kids would never have. Eating golden nuts? That's probably something normal kids would never have. Probably not the best for the teeth. Eating solid golden nuts. And talking to parrots. I imagine of all of the second languages that children learn, you know, as good as at they are at learning languages, kids, they're very smart when it comes to that. I doubt parrots speak. Parrotees would ever be one of them. If it weren't for the parrots, like we've been talking about, who knows what would have happened to me? Probably some less than good things. I'm happy I met them. I'll always consider them to be my family, even if that makes me a little strange. That is a good mentality to have, Leo. Absolutely wonderful. I'm glad I can be your friend. Strange, strangeness and all. Anyway, thanks for talking to me, Din. You're very welcome, Leo. Maybe someday you can be a part of our family, too. Is that some kind of proposal, Leo? Get back to me in, like, 15 years. Or are you trying to ask me to marry a parrot? Are you trying to set up some kind of marital contract? This is not the 1800s. We don't do that anymore. Here, let me teach you how to say let's play in parrot. That's what we're doing right now. This is a let's play of Stardew Valley Expanded. Hi, welcome back. It's Thy and I Plays. Stardew Valley. That's the intro. I can teach you all about intros, Leo. It's great. Tell me how to do it. Oh my god. It's perfect. This is perfect. I'm not, I'm, I personally am not going to try and, you know, do the parrot speak because I would make your ears bleed. I'm not going to do that to anyone. Let's see if we can't get a cinder shard or two because, like, we seriously need, like, one of them. I just need, I just need one cinder shard to get to the 20 that I need to do this. It's like the goal, the goal isn't even to get to the end of the dungeon. It is genuinely just to get a cinder shard. Like, just, just one. Cinder shards. Cinder shard. I really hope the fact that I don't have a, uh, a mine. No. A whatchamacallit. Waterfall. No. Watering can. That's what it's called. Oh, sprites. Yeah, I could just kill you guys. Give me, give me your stuff. Oh, there we go. This, that's the cinder shard we need. Let's get out of here. Actually, give me one more. Thank you. Two more. Even better. Yeah, my goal is not to get to 
the summit or well floor nine or any chests or anything because yeah not not super important at the moment i have no desire to do this i just need to forge the rings that way i have you know illumination at night which is the goal i would very much like to be able to see in the middle of the night on my farm without the threat of destroying everything i've built i should definitely oh i should go get more wood i need to go get more wood i oh, i need stones as well hmm anyway iridium band and our lucky ray i still can't believe we got the lucky ray that's such that was such an incredible find i i will i will ride that high for this entire playthrough that was so good combined ring nice fantastic the lunar emblem is said to bring good luck to whoever wears it plus one luck nice very very nice oh i should catch i should catch a lava eel at some point maybe depending on what the expanded acre of the farm actually looks like i might i might dedicate some time to doing that anyway uh i definitely want to get all of the bones in the bone farm because now that we actually have access to the bone mills, the usage of these things increases not necessarily exponentially, but quite a bit. And I also, you know, while we're here, we might as well get the thing. Copper ore. I'll take it. I will take it. Rib cages. Right. You, when it comes to the actual bones that you can do, the rib cages, the prehistoric ribs, anything bone based. Even, even stuff like the fossilized, like the trilobites and the stuff that you don't necessarily, you probably at first glance wouldn't think would work. Uh, they, they absolutely would. It's not just bone fragments, but, um, it, it, it essentially, it gives another use for all of the stuff that you would have donated to Professor Snail. And, uh, because if you didn't have something like the bone mill, bone mills, not bone meal, then they'd be useless. But uh, they're not useless. So let's go back to the farm and actually see what they can do for us. Because as I said before before our little chat with Leo, that you actually get um, various types of fertilizers. They won't be the extremely useful end game high quality fertilizers. But the ones you get, here's here is three good examples. You get quality fertilizer, deluxe speed grow, and then normal speed grow. So when it comes to the speed grows, these are the two types you can get. The speed grow, the normal one, increases growth time by 10%, and then the deluxe speed grow is by 25%. So it's not the 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 super, super mega awesome deluxe speed grow that's by 30 or, yeah, 34, 33%. There's a, there's a level higher than the deluxe speed grow. You can't get that from the bone meals, mills. You can only get this one. And then I believe quality fertilizer is the only one you can get. And when it comes to these ones, you only get three deluxe speed grows per little pop of the thing, per bone, if you do get it. But you get five of the speed grow. So they're useful to have, especially if you want to input all of your bones or, you know, generally have a use for them. Because otherwise they would sit and languish in your inventory until the cows come home. But for me, they're currently languishing in my refrigerator which is not necessarily the best place for them but you know that's where they are i need to sort through that but you know i could do that later i can do that at a later point so whenever i'm in ginger island i'm probably just going to be stacking some uh the bone the bones in the bone mills to get some fertilizer not that it'll be really helpful but you know i'll definitely take it i will also take most of those do i need to do anything with all of this stuff. I really don't. I really don't need to do anything with this stuff. Hmm. I'm going to take the melons. Yeah. I'm going to take the melons and put them in the shed. Oh, excuse me. Because I don't... I don't have enough ancient seeds. Not ancient seeds. The ancient fern seeds to fill, fill that up. Oh, and this will be a perfect use... Go away, slime. Now I don't have to worry about... Oh, Iridium, thanks. Now that I don't have to worry about blowing up the farm, I can actually fight enemies on the farm. I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, this is the first day. I Yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of this day uh, doing this, filling up the shed with um, mango... No, not mangoes. Melon seeds. And then maybe do a little bit of redecorating. 
on the house, or, well, not redecorating, but just normal decorating, so, I'll see you when this is done. Oh, the iridium watering can is ready. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I only did, I brought a few things out of storage. I got the treasure statues out of storage and I put some new flooring, some nice wood tiling, wood tiling, wood paneling. That would be a more efficient way of terminating. Terminating? Man, the language. Oh, the language. Do we need to do anything today? Ooh, money, money, money. I need more and more money. The key fruit are nearly done. Um, I suppose we can start working on the trash cans. Yeah, um, I need to get a bit more money. Oh, right. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could definitely sell. I can, I, I, blah, blah, blah. Wow, talk about a brain stutter. That did not turn out well. Rebooting that. I can sell enough stuff that I can, I have enough. Ugh. Uh, uh, I want to make money so I can sell things. So I can buy things. Man, I, I'll get there eventually. I'll get there eventually. The thing I want to buy, I want to start working on the trash cans. And I also want to start buying the barn upgrades. That way, because I, ne I need a, the deluxe barn, the highest level upgrade of the barns for the pigs. And I would like to have them... Wow, slawberry jelly, 28,000? I guess we can sell the jelly. It's like, if I keep selling all of this stuff, I will never have enough money... I bet I can. I bet, I bet, I bet if I sold everything, I bet if I sold everything, I could get that farm upgrade. Hmm. I bet I could. I really think it would be doable. Hmm. 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 Do I dare? Do I dare? I think I dare. I think I dare. I think I dare. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take everything. I think I have, I'm, I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do another tiny blowout bonanza sale. I think I'm gonna take everything I have. Well, mostly everything I have. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take, not gonna take the void mayo. Gonna leave, I'm gonna leave like five of the normal mayo just in case I need it for some unforeseeable reason. But I'm going, I'm going to take everything that I can all the way to Pierre and then see if I can't get that farm upgrade because I believe... I believe it'll almost certainly be possible, especially if I combine, because I, I can sell the ancient fruit wine, ancient fruit wine. I have no doubt that that'll get me in conjunction with everything else over the threshold that I need. So I'm definitely going to make that happen, hopefully. Uh, right, this stuff as well. Um, I'm going to, t I'm going to take every, every, everything must go. It is a blowout bonanza. I'm going to take all of this stuff as well. Not to sell, but to actually um, put into preserves jars. Trees, magic trees. Right. The reason that tree had one mango instead of, you know, three is because I got more mangoes. Or, well, I shook the tree earlier yesterday, so I had a gift for Leo. Which I do not regret. Not in the slightest. So let's put everything in here. And then all of the bananas, as well as all of the peaches. And then we can just give the peaches to more people. Because what else? What are we going to put in the other preserve jars? Uh, ancient fruit? Ancient fruit. Maybe. I'll worry about that later. Everything else. Honestly, though? 124,000. And then 138,000. Because if I sold everything, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep a few of the ancient fiber. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep 50 of the ancient fiber just in case I need them for anything. I can put them into uh, preserve jars or kegs or something. I, I can do things with them. But aside from that, I'm fairly certain I'll have more than enough money to get the upgrade from Lewis. Let, hold on, before we, before we, before we go, I'm also going to get... Hopefully, the stuff I need for Robin to build me the upgrade to the barn. As well as the material I need from Clint. Ah, uh, but the stones. I'll, uh, mm, I'd have to, I'd have to see. Because I can technically, I can technically buy stone from Robin. We'll have to see how much money I have. We'll have to see, we'll have to see. 
man, I can't, th this might actually finally be happening. Upgrading, upgrading the farm in winter, actually, in winter would probably be the best time to upgrade the farm in this particular way because it will give me enough time to get all of the iridium sprinkler sorted out and the land sorted it would be overall very good i think pierre have have a peach i have lots of things to sell you fourteen thousand dollars of mayo one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars worth of ancient fruit wine a hundred and sixteen thousand dollars of fiber that already puts us over the edge do i want to sell the less Hmm. I'll sell I'll sell the Salal berry jelly cuz that will that would hopefully allow us Yeah, I'll sell the Salal berry jelly because that will allow us to get the upgrade to the barn that we need as well as everything else. So we should we should honestly be good. Lewis, are you around? Oh right, Emily's Emily's um special clothing therapy that she mentioned. I'm so sorry that I never showed up to the other ones. I'm glad you're having more than one session. Welcome to clothing therapy. Emily, please tell me more. Tell me everything about this. You're probably wondering, well, what exactly is clothing therapy? Well, I'll try and explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life. So I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that wonderful. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool. Did you know that? No, I did not. Well, I mean, being true to oneself is a rather cathartic and healthy thing to practice. Like, be true to yourself. Don't try and change yourself for the benefit of others. It, it, just, it just takes and takes and takes away from you, and it never leads anywhere, anywhere fulfilling. Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Really? Endless options? I have a feeling that it's like one tile of Lewis's kitchen. I if Has Emily actually managed it? Has she managed to learn from Magnus Erasmodius, the wizard of Stardew Valley Pelican Town, to teach? Oh, has he taken an apprentice? Because I I know he's capable of teleporting things to different dimensions. He, di he did that with the fountain at the festival a few days ago. I know, I know he's, has he taught Emily? He needs to teach me instead. Emily, you must teach me these mystical arts. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You'll all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. I don't see endless options. It truly must be a portal to another dimension. A clothing dimension. The perfume department. Shane blazed. Oh, I think we might have lost Shane forever. Ah, Din, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an eye, keep an keep an eye on the curtains and an open mind, okay? No matter no matter what, I swear to uphold these sacred traditions, Emily. Rock star Shane. Wow, indeed. Nice. Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. That's great. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. Although, maybe put on a jacket. It is literally snowing and it's below zero. If you're going out in a sleeveless punk rock shirt, more power to you. But like, just go straight to the saloon and get some mead. That'll warm you up. Wait, no, this is Shane. Probably um, uh, an, an apple cider, maybe. Uh, his cider alcoholic. I, I, oh, he's gone. I hope, I hope he's responsible in that frigid weather. Everyone gets a turn. Oh, wonderful. Robin's up next. What does Robin do? Oh, Clint is here, standing off to the side in your nonsense Christmas sweater. Ooh, a nice green dress. Oh, beautiful indeed. I fully believe... Oh, that's nice. Let's see what Demetrius thinks. Oh, go woo your man, Robin. Go woo your man. Oh, Lewis. Lewis, what are you going to put on? Not bad. Oh my god, he's a pimp. Pimp Lewis, looking sharp giant fake glued on mustache with a purple cane and a purple 10 gallon hat that man's crazy what is abigail going to look like just cl just glue a bunch of amethyst rhinestones to you so you can have like pop rocks to eat no nope. full suit of armor well it's purple so it's a amethyst feather in the cap it's sweaty in there hmm 
don't don't follow that path down into unnecessary roads. Clint, you're up. Oh boy. Okay, Clint, go on. Let's see what you can drudge up as. Oh, don't be shy now. Don't be shy now, Clint. You came here for clothing therapy, so you're going to get therapied. Okay, Emily, I'll do it. Yeah, you better. I promise I won't laugh at you, Clint. I won't take embarrassing pictures of you for the Christmas party that I'm going to throw on my farm. And I'm going to invite everyone, even you, Clint, just so you don't get left out. What is this, French, Clint? You have like a little beret? Cute. Uh, don't you you better take the compliments where you can get them buddy because I I have a feel I have a feeling that you know your, your taste in clothing rivals your skill in blacksmithing adequate at best barely above government standards be gone with you Emily I think this was a massive success that went very well I am in full agreement I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shells a little bit oh I think it will have, did you did you see Robin? Robin and Shane? I I think they're going to make the most of this. Din, um I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Get out of here, Clint. I'm having a moment with my friend, Emily. Oh, I I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? You absolutely are. Bye bye. Please leave. Be gone with you. Don't forget to return those clothes later though. I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Din. I I don't know what you're referring to. I already have a girlfriend. Like S Sophia knows that I am friends with other people. Like this is this is there. I am literally just friends with Emily. You're a mm -hmm, Clint. Clint. You. You. Just just be gone. Just leave. Just leave, Clint. Just leave. If you're going to take that attitude, just be gone. Don't don't worry about it, Emily. Oh, Lewis. Who is in your bed? Someone's... Lewis, someone is in your bed. Is that... Oh, more blackmail material. This is perfect. Sorry, didn't hear you over the sink. Had to give my hands a good wash. What were you doing that would require you to wash your hands, Lewis? I have many questions. And I have a feeling I know the answers. Hmm. So, you decided to purchase more property. Yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely... Oh, that is why I'm here. I have $300,000 with your name on it, Lewis. So, I better get... I better get that acre. If there's anyone who will get good use out of that land, it's you. Oh, tell me about it. Use the red ledger to buy the property deed, then turn it into me for approval. Okay, red ledger, I can do that. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space, Din. Now, I need to go and take care of something. Come find me later. Later today with that signed deed. Are you going to be in the house? Lewis, please. I have all of the money. How? Oh, time to use my mouse. There we go. Property deed. It needs to be given to an authority figure for review. 250000 But I will take it. Oh, that is... Oh, we have been waiting for this for quite a long time. Lewis, signed... Paid, delivered. Incredible. Oh, that is going to be a wonderful thing to explore in the next episode, I feel. Oh, I have a feeling that that is going to be so very good. Oh, that is going to be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Oh, I cannot wait for tomorrow. Susan, hello, Susan. Would you care for a peach? Oh, goodness, for me, thank you. You're very welcome, Susan. Anything I can do to help the people of the world. Clint, give me my watering can back. Hopefully, once I'm done upgrading my trash cans, it would it would be fitting that the final things I buy from you, Clint, are trash can upgrades. It's only fitting. Not enough room to summon horse. Summon the horse. It's only fitting that you upgrade my literal trash cans. Be gone with you, Clint. Let's go to Robin, buy that barn upgrade. And then, what can we do then? What do we do then? Hmm, Ginger Island? Do we have stuff to do in Ginger Island? I need to put this jelly back away because apparently I have more than enough funds between the fiber and the wine. The wine is going to be a big ticket item. I have a... Oh, right. I need to... Okay, hold on. Community upgrade. I'm curious about this. What's that? You want to build Pam a house? That's a great idea. I'll just need 1,000 wood and 500,000 gold. Oh, that... I remember this being cheaper. 
Okay, yes, yes. This is another another facet of the game. Currently, currently, as we all know, 200 stone. I can, I can buy, I can buy literally two pieces of stone. Yes, big barn, please. But yes, currently Pam and Penny live in a trailer at the moment. And if you do purchase that upgrade for a thousand, a thousand stone and five hundred thousand dollars, you can build her a house. Which, believe it or not, I've never actually done in all of my playthroughs of Stardew Valley. So when we do it in this one, it'll be crazy cool to see what that actually looks like. Because I only have vague ideas. I think I might have seen like one picture years ago. I have no idea what it looks like. Oh, it's Linus. Well, it's been Linus for a hot minute. Oh, it's Linus, right? This is the first time you're meeting? Robin, he literally lives up behind your house. How could you not know Linus? Are you hungry? I can make some lunch. How about some leftover cave carrot stew? Oh, cave carrot stew. I just love stews in general. So you could you could literally put whatever you have in the fridge in a stew, and I would like I would guzzle it down. Oh, that's very kind of you, but no thanks. I've had great luck foraging today. The crystal fruit, oh, the crystal fruit I imagine would be lovely. Fresh crystal fruit. Oh, it'd be so good. Alright. Robin, you're a kind person. Dean, you look like you have something to say. Do I? It's probably just, you know, my face. I'm just pleased that Linus is doing well. Yeah, absolutely. The more, the more people, you know, Linus is living his own life, and the more he's able to live his life as he pleases, that, that's, that's good for the community, good for the world, and good for Linus. As much as I would love to invite him on the farm, and it is an open invitation, it's literally an open invitation to everyone, I feel like Linus comes and goes as he pleases. Thanks, Din. You had me worried there. I thought you were going to ask me to move on to the farm with you. Well, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, uh, Linus, you want to move on to the, that, that implies a certain level of, uh, commitment that, you, mm, mm, I, I have eyes for another Linus, and I feel like, I, as much as I could, you know, use your help tending to the crops, I, I would not ask that of you. You know, I consider you my closest friend in the valley. You've never tried to fix me. You respect my way of life, even if you don't understand it. I may not understand living in a tent. Although I, I have been there, but my first house was a bit of a hovel. I mean, I, sometimes I wish I was in a tent, you know, it was a bit more waterproof than the shed and stuff like that. But yeah, but I'm not trying to fix you because I don't I don't foresee anything wrong with you. I mean, you're, you're living your best life, you're foraging the crystal fruit, and everything is wonderful. I really appreciate that. I appreciate your friendship, Linus. All of the sashimi, the magic bait, it's a wonderful gift. All wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Can you smell that? It's the sweet aroma of ripe berries. In winter? Well, uh, crystal fruit. Don't eat the holly, Linus. I'm sure you know better than that, but the holly berries are not good. Man, he is excited. Good for that man. Good for that man. What a sweetheart. I fully agree, Robin. Linus is amazing. What was I doing? I've already forgotten. Um, I bought the barn. I have two stones to my name. What was I doing? Is Lands on Ginger Island? Lands is on Ginger Island. I might as well go say hello to him. Oh, excuse me. Double excuse me. Right, I am going to go... I'm going to put all of the jelly and stuff away. And then we're going to go to Ginger Island. I have third... 38,000. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort out the inventory, get an egg, and then go back to lands, give him said egg, and everything will be hunky-dory. So give me a minute, and we'll do this. Hello, lands. Hello again. I have another egg for you. Ah, oh, what a remarkable gift. Thank you. You're very welcome. I do love plying my friends, or soon-to-be friends, with wonderful gifts such as this. Oh, I do, I do hope, I do severely hope. Do I have to do anything? Oh, I have quests, don't I? Oh, the Prismatic Grange, that's 11 days. I have 88 bug meat. I need to go and do that. Maybe, maybe we'll finish that today. Oh, I just barely missed it. Right. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we should totally go and do that. I'm going to go I'm going to go. I'm going to go straight to the mines and then we can get the bug meat, 
yeah, I can I can do I can do a totally quick trip into the mines just to get the bug meat. No other ulterior motives. Do we have anything else to do while we're over here? No, none of the crops are ready yet, which is perfectly fine. All right, another thing that we can get. Tree fertilizer. Getting tree fertilizer is something that is absolutely wonderful. Uh, it is such an easy way to make tree fertilizer that doesn't require super, you know, intensive resources. And I am definitely going to plop these tree fertilizers straight onto these particular uh, mahogany trees because that it's, it's just they've been, they've been bugging me and I'm going to put them straight in the ground. Do I have uh, any more seeds? I have three seeds. That's fine. I can put the, the fertilizer in here. Actually, I'm going to put all of the fertilizer in there. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, do, do, do. And then I'm going to take three more of those. Right. The way tree fertilizer works, I don't know if I've ever shown that off or talked about it, but essentially, uh, normally there's only a small chance of trees growing on your farm. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like, let's just say for the examples, examples sake, that it's like a 10% chance that a tree will reach the next stage of its growth overnight, uh, on your farm at the very least. This only applies to the farm because it works differently outside of the farm, but the tree fertilizer, if it's a normal tree, I think guarantees or very nearly guarantees a, a next stage growth over the course of a single night. So it's definitely worth your time if you're going growing trees in bulk. Oh, give me the actual explosive ring. But if you're going growing trees in bulk, pardon my failing language skills, that you uh, definitely use the tree fertilizer. It'll just make everything go by so much quicker in terms of the growth. Especially when you're growing mahogany trees because they have an even lower rate of growth than the normal trees. Although I will say, it doesn't actually work on fruit trees, so switching topics, it doesn't work on fruit trees. Unfortunate, though, that may be. I should have brought some pheromones. I wonder if we can get some, some good luck with some items. I'll definitely take all of the stuff that we can get. All of the items. Oh, nice crystal fruits. And I will also take that iridium... Not iridium. I don't know why I always get those mixed up, but the radioactive ore. We can make use of the radioactive ore in the future. I will say, when it comes to the radioactive ore, the use I know it best for is from the vanilla game. You can essentially turn the radioactive ore into the highest quality um, speed grow fertilizer. Like ultra speed grow or whatever it's called. Uh, and that essentially works out to be one one bit of radioactive ore and tree sap. I'm not sure. Do I have the recipe for that? Do I have the recipe to show this off? I do not, unfortunately. But um, I think I think it's just the main ingredient. There might be it might be bone fragments. Now that I think about it. Anyway, whatever it is, it's one radioactive ore per bit of fertilizer and you only get one fertilizer from that so it's essentially a one-to-one -one ratio so it's not the best conversion but that's that's the use i'm most familiar familiar with i just need to slow down my speech i just need to slow it down will wiley still accept i think i think wiley's drop off bait box is outside of his house so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to just go and give it to him. I'm gonna drop all of this nonsense off first, all the way, everything into the boxes, so they go. And then I can get the bait and bring that to Wiley. Everything else goes into the boxes. And then that goes in there, switch out the ring so I don't blow up the farm. How many, how many bugs did I need? A hundred. That should be relatively easy to get my hands on. And it's no one's birthday, so I did not miss out on anything. Right. So let me, let me go, let's go straight over to uh, Wiley's on the beach. Oh, the wonderful beach. Oh, the soothing sounds of waves crashing upon the sand. Oh, it is lovely. It reminds me of the opening and the finale of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh, 
If you would want to see, if you would want to see a playthrough of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, do let me know because it would definitely be on the list of playthroughs. I would definitely love to do it. Wily, I have all of this stuff. Juicy wads of bug meat. $3,000. That'll be helpful. Not nearly as much as, you know, Sophia paying me 35000 for a bunch of rocks and seeds and stuff made from diamonds. All right, maybe 35000 is a fair price for all of the stuff that I gave to Sophia. Hmm. Things to wonder about. On another note, I've forgotten what I wanted to say. That's not surprising in the least. I should go to the movies one of these days. And what about the area over here? I'm actually curious about this uh, community... Oh, excuse me. Community garden plot. I think I'm going to leave it... Oh, I chipped him for a... Did I need those? No. What is the one thing I don't have? Where is it? Artifacts? Achievements. No. Artifacts. I'm literally just missing this doll. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I remember... Isn't there... Isn't there a dig spot that you can find that thing? I wonder. Hmm. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. That'll be for the next episode. Anyway, this was pretty much the end of this episode. Lots of things... Well, lots of things? The most important thing is that we upgraded our barn. No, I'm just kidding. The most important thing that was we got our farm upgrade. We got a new acre, so that is going to be a wonderful thing to check out come tomorrow in the next episode well not tomorrow from you know real life perspective but from stardew perspective because tomorrow is xenoblade because i staggered the xenoblades and the stardews you know the drill you've been watching the channel long enough that you know i staggered the let's plays every other day and every other day anyway uh, i'm probably going to end this episode here actually hold on hold on uh before i let you go personally i am just going to tell you what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably, I'm going to take the kegs. Do I need to do anything else? As well as the furnaces. Do I need the furnaces? Not sure I need the furnaces. Hmm, I do have a bunch of ore. I'm probably going to put them somewhere. Um, right. I'm going to put all of the kegs for the foreseeable future, just, just for, um, temporary measures until I get a bunch more casks because the casks I need to fill out inevitably, eventually the casks are going to be all in here um essentially uh, let me do it this way instead i'm going to fill eventually this entire shed the bottom of the greenhouse as well as the cellar in the house with um casks for aging of the wines and the cheeses and everything else and that will be ultimately how things look but for right now i think i'm going to turn this the shed the first floor of the shed back into you know, uh, furnace it, getting the th placement right, furnaces and, um, kegs. Man, I cannot place anything nor talk properly. Everything about this is one massive failure today, isn't it? But that's fine. Everyone loves me when, you know, I'm misspeaking horribly. But, um, for right now, this is what this is going to be like, and I'm probably just going to fill this up with more iridium and, uh, fruit, ancient fruit, probably. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, but... Oh, it's midnight. That's going to wrap it up. That's going to wrap up this episode. What else are we gonna... Oh, where are the rest of my ancient fruit? I think they're in the, the greenhouse. Right. Um, before I end the day, I'm going to fill up those kegs, fill up the things with uh, iridium and it will be lovely so that is going to wrap up this wonderful day of stardew valley join me in the next one where we get to see what our actually upgraded farm looks like i have no doubt that that's going to be incredible and here i was thinking that that winter was going to oh excuse me be a boring day boring season more stuff has happened in the first four days of winter than it has in the entirety of fall so that's going to be it for this episode. So whether you guys watched it for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode of Stardew Valley Expanded. Later!